Ollie, five from five, and I guess that's all that matters. Um, I mean, it's it's a very important element of what matters. Uh, you know, we we set out always to win when we're playing at King's Home, like when, we're, well, when we're playing anywhere. Um, but at King's Home in particular, you know, we need to do, uh, sort of do justice to the crowd. Um, you know, they've been incredible over this. I think we've had four games here now. So over the first four four home games, I think they've been absolutely incredible. And then obviously there was the away game at Hartbury as well. So um, a lot of them rocked up there. So fair play. Um, I think there was over 8,000 people here today. Um, and certainly that helped us towards the end. Um, you know, we put ourselves in a position where we probably shouldn't have been. Um, but, you know, pleased to get the win eventually. And thoughts on the game and, and in particular the opposition today because Coventry really brought oh, things, didn't they? Yeah, no, like fair play. That Like, you know, they've beaten Saracens away. Uh, they they were on the verge of beating Quinns before conceding a last last play try. Um, like it'd been incredibly impressed with them, and like fair play to their coaching staff and and all their all their players. Like they they're going to do some damage in the champ this year. Um, I think we're all excited to see how they how they go on. But um, you know, obviously obviously always full respect to the team. But I also think uh, I also don't think we were good enough today. Um, if we're being honest. Uh, they were, you know, we were a little bit, uh, we weren't as clinical as we should have been in attack. Um, you know, pro- probably probably conceded one or two slightly soft tries. So we need to just go back and reflect on that because it's going to be a different beast next week. And obviously the fact to come away with the win and still have plenty to work on pro- probably shows that there is a lot of positives there to build on. Yeah, I, I, com- yeah, I mean, completely. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a good place to be. It is a good place to be. Um, and we're still trying to get used to this uh, this sort of new attack shape, but that's not really an excuse. I think we all understand it now. We've had we've had a good three four months doing it. Um, I think we just need to go and see why weren't we executing our plan quite as as well as we should have done, um, and, and that will involve every single person looking at their individual game as well as the coaches looking at things collectively. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think we need a bit of polishing to do. To be honest. Yeah, you mentioned the attack. Over, over the course of the Prem Cup, there's obviously been a few really good attacking moments and I guess the more you play, the more more of those will come. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We just we just need to make them more consistent, effectively. Um, and it will come. Uh, I have I have faith um, that that we'll we'll come together and, and, and we fully everyone fully buys into what we're trying to do. Um, you know, there, there's a there's a huge amount put into this into this year. Um in terms of the the rugby foundations and things off the pitch, so we need to um, give that justice. You know, give give the Kingston crowd show the Kingston crowd some respect as well, um, and and try and provide them with some entertaining rugby. Um, which you know, like we said, we've been doing a bit, but uh, we can we can do better. And regardless of the the eighty minutes before, it's always like entertaining to win with the last play, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's great for the neutral. Um, I think you know. For anyone with heart problems out in the crowd, it's uh, it's it's a bit sketchy. So you know we want to look after those people and and try and not leave it to the last minute every every week. So yeah. as a winger, always nice to cross yourself as well. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's why uh, this year I want to get my hands on the ball as much as possible, um, and 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 score tries. But you know that's that's probably the big metric of a winger. Um, you know I've been working on the fan, the foundations of of my game, um, and some of the small and 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 those sort of wing wing areas um you know but the the ultimate metric for a winger is try scored so i'm gonna, i'm freaking hungry to score tries this year uh so uh, yeah i'm really excited to, for the next game and looking forward to quins obviously you spoke about having to go up another level to to face quins in the premiership and yeah. but you're obviously confident that you've got that another level in you yeah yeah I, f- I fully believe in the lads um but we you know we need to go and do some hard work over the next 7 days um recover well over the weekend uh, and then we'll rip into it on on Monday morning, uh, do some analysis of this game, see what didn't quite work, what did, uh, and then and then you know bring it when we uh, get the opportunity to next Saturday. But I guess the confidence of that and beating start will, will be massive. Oh oh yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think there's been a lot of different combinations out, and you know I, I think what it shows is that we've got fantastic strength and depth. There's no below and above. It's the person next to you this year. Because um, you know we're all in all in it together, and um, I feel like everyone could come and come on and do a job as has been proven in these games. So uh, it's a very exciting time to be uh, to be a Gloucester player, and you know bring on the prem.
and opening day at King's Home doesn't get much bigger than that, does it? It doesn't. So, uh, yeah, and I'm really excited to see what the uh, the Gloucester crowd provides uh, on the day. Um, also, Quinns, you know, they always bring some good support uh, as well. So it's going to be a feisty game. Can't wait. Thanks, Ollie.